Hi friends, let's read a new book today called A Boy Named Usamu, a story by Usamu Noguchi by James Young. Pause to read what it's about. If you are a boy named Isamu, at the market with your mother, it can be crowded in a noisy place. Maybe there's a quiet space that feels more like you. Children are playing loudly. You keep walking. When it is quiet, you wonder, what kind of wood is this? How does a fruit get its color? Why does cloth feel soft? Who made the path with stone? Paper lanterns are like another world far away from home. How can light feel so welcoming? In the forest, the trees tower over you as you hear the crunch of twigs under your feet. The leaves are so perfect, they must have been waiting for you. You toss grass in the air and watch as blades scatter in different directions. When you close your eyes, you imagine the grass comes back to you. If you are a Samu, stones are the most special at all. Time has carved each stone to be different. How could they be so heavy? Would they float if they had no weight? They can be smooth or rough. You press your ear against the stone. What is it saying? At the beach, your stick makes a shh in the sand. The ocean greets you with its quiet rumble. You feel like the only person in the world. If you're a Samu, you find a secret place so you can look at the ocean and see the shapes of things. You see birds that look like stones and stones that look like birds. Bamboo can be many things, but you know it's meant to be played like a flute. Isamu, there you are. Your mother asks about your day. You think about how you were alone, but not lonely. You take one more look at sticks, pebbles, shells, and bamboo who you were waiting for you. The forest and beach were like friends giving you a gift. If you are a Samu, you wish every day could be this big. Pause to read about Isamu Noguchi. He was a famous Japanese artist in Los Angeles a long time ago. And this is the author, James Yang. Do you like this book, friends? Tell me in the comments. Give me a like and follow. Bye.